Even though from the title what you know I am talking about you as a teacher instead I am going to thank my students first the teacher whatever I am is made by them in fact the preparation of teaching literature from the teachers perspective has only been made possible by the very kind help of my students who have enabled the teacher in me and they have given me the opportunity to teach them few of the writings in my course of livelihood in fact in the case of teaching teachers have complete freedom of choice and are generously granted however nobody asks a student what he or she likes the teachers have to tender their gratitude to all the students of the English classroom for their most courteous and welcome collaboration in the making of it. Hello friends, I am Ardhendu De and you are watching Edis English Literature. Today, I am going to discuss about your dream, how to become a good English teacher. How should be your first class of teaching English literature? I am in general giving you few of the principles what makes a good teacher, what makes a good English teacher in particular. One of the newly appointed teachers in somewhere in a state of Utopia declared he would not take classes until he knew few students personally and dined with each. It is told that he prophesied his class wouldn't begin to earn repute until he had obtained at least a dozen of his friends on the listening staff of prominent. It has been rumored that a teacher's success in teaching depends on the student's personal recommendation. So befriending students comes first, then comes guiding or philosophizing. So I recommend at least one month stay at a student's hostel or so before you attend the teacher's staff room. What do you say? So, from the very principles of friend, guide and philosopher, let yourself teach how to become a friend first. The traditional methods in our Indian culture had been the Guru Shishya Parampara, a residential study at teacher's home. The Guru Shishya tradition or the Parampara, the lineage, denotes a succession of teachers and disciples in its own gurukulas for teaching, which might be based at akharas or temples. Such knowledge, whether academic, spiritual, scriptural, architectural, musical arts or martial arts is imparted through the developing relationship between the guru and the disciple. This guru shishya relationship is based on the principle of friendship guidance and philosophizing. I am also going to refer you the lineage of the Guru Shishya Parampara of Baul, where such a relationship begins with friendship and ends in spiritual supremacy. Now, it is considered that this kind of Guru Shishya relationship based on this uh, genuineness of the Gurus and the respect, commitment, devotion, obedience of the student is the best way for subtle and advanced knowledge to be conveyed. So the Guru Shishya Parampara also cemented with the beginning of friendship. How the old days have changed or has it changed at all? Even though we are not going to Gurukulas nowadays, 
still have great respect for our teachers. From typical subconscious ethics, the mark of respect is still eluding. But somewhere, the scenes are gradually changing. It is no doubt detrimental to society. What we can do to withhold this destruction? I mean, the friendship, the so-called cordial relationship between students and the teachers are nowadays somewhere missing. But how it can be revealed? Now, teaching literature is now a professional occupation and young men and women of education enjoy the practice of making clever career choices. So, from the obligation of teaching, now the obligation of earning is there. The traditional classroom, the tuitions are making rapid changes, you know. Since COVID, online education is taken quite seriously. So, many of us are teaching in this platform, online platform. Who knows how many of them value culture? So, the culture which is based on friendship, philosophy and guidance is somewhere detrimental. Now, being a teacher is not so easy. The left eye of the young teacher must be solidly trained on the main chances. He must be abreast of competitors. He must be constantly printed in order that his name be seen and remain prominent. His first class will be a great event. Every chance will have been considered. He must be talked about whatever happens. Students reviews are not much assistance unless they are long and confident. It should be a kind of a gossip. The new teacher has come and these and these and that and she is so fantastic. He is so fantastic. He is a great scholar. These kind of talks are very handy in being a successful teacher. They must be such as to make that class or an event of the literary session. Students must know about him. Whether they attend him or not, it is charming to be a well-known young teacher. Besides, it is a professional value. After all, he has his future to consider. And he must begin here and now to plan its attractive seat. Early in his career, he will have made it his business to gain a technical acquaintance with university and college literary groups. So as soon as you as a teacher gets to know a few of his students, your students, it will become important that he shall talk to these, the others he, he does not know with a certain legitimacy of details. He will be a master of the important faculty of making present acquaintances. He should be the stepping stone to future ones. He must learn how to take the class on the right foot. So he should be technically superior. He should be subjective uh, orientation of his should be superior. So he must be able to imply skillfully that he will probably be severe to their need. Whenever the, teacher, the students need them, he is a severe. All this time, however, he must not cease to experiment teaching methods. It will be good for a new teacher soon to attach himself to some cliche. Thus, he may strengthen his position on that particular subject besides intellectually be saved from the trouble of becoming jack of all trades. So precision or academic learning is another basic point that the students along with the student, the teacher should continue his learning. He should not be a block in the way of learning because whenever a teacher is appointed, he sometimes thinks he has nothing to learn. That should not be the way. Now, finally, I would like to add some basic points. Teachers should remember that teaching is an attempt and it seems to be an unusually successful one to strike a golden mean between the two, the teachers and taught. In the teaching of English literature particularly, 
you as a teacher must cover the three most important thing that I that I presume uh, as teachers equipment. Now what are the three things you can see in this diagram what I mean by these three things. First of all the knowledge on the subject. The knowledge of the subject matter that is literature you should be well equipped with the principles of literature that you are going to teach. Even there are various sub branches of literature and you must be efficient in teaching those subjects. Second is method for imparting that subject matter to the class. Now how you can impart that knowledge? First you have to warm up the students. Then you have to make some preparation before reading. Then the understanding the text, delivering the text at the point of comprehension and then um, the detailing of the language and follow up activities should be there. So your full activity should impart how to deliver that knowledge that is within the book to the students. The third point is suggestions for humanizing the study of literature or for correlating it with the lives of the boys and girls. That is very important. You cannot have a successful teaching unless you correlate the subject matter of the English literature to the need of the students, to the young boys and girls. They should be well acute, well known to the fact that literature is related to their lives, to their living, to their culture. Unless you relate those things with the students in front of you, the literature subject should be boring or would be boring before them and you should obliterate that boringness from them and that's the way you can make yourself a successful teacher. Now these are the basic points that I have delivered to you to uh, become a good teacher in your first classes or in your early of the career you can make your career sizzle you can make your career straightforward you can make your career varied by the way of imparting many of these principles in your way of teaching to the young students so like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel so that you can get this type of post in future course of your studies bye bye thank you